Hello, I'm Josh Hickens, and welcome to my review of the elementary episode, The Leviathan. And I'm going to just skip to the very end of the episode, since, you know, my reviews are very much this happened, that happened, and I go throughout the whole episode at random. So I'm going to the end of the episode where, because of the case Holmes solved, he was given a bunch of $500 bottles of, I think it was champagne, but they didn't make any popping sounds really as they came out, so I'll say wine, $500 bottles of wine. And Holmes complains, hey, I don't drink, they shouldn't have done this. And Watson decides, okay, I might trigger something, so I'm just going to pour these $500 bottles of wine out into the sink. Never mind that Holmes's condition doesn't have anything about alcohol. It was a drug addiction. And people have pointed out, hey, there's been points where he's been around alcohol before and it hasn't affected him. So, you know, even though Holmes doesn't want to drink and Watson doesn't seem to want to drink it either, they could have, I don't know, just waited to give the, the family and friends. I mean, $500 bottle of wine would be a great gift to receive. I know that. So when she started to pour it out, no, she didn't think of the option. Let me, since it's not going to be really a threat to homes, I'm just going to wait till tomorrow and give it to family and friends. I mean, I, I was like, really? I would have drank that. It was, it was like really the most confusing part of the episode. And never mind, the whole episode is filled with twists and turns as usual about who did it. <laughs> and this week, mystery was who robbed the bank vault because it turns out that there's this really super duper uh, vault and it's supposed to be impossible to break into but it's been broken into so it turns out that someone you know bro had previously broken into the vault and now someone had broken into again they're trying to figure it out and it turns out that the and it turns out that what had happened, how it was repeated, was that the jurors for the hearing for the court case of the original people who broke into the vault ended up copying them, you know, forming their own team. And one of the members has started to kill the others of the team. So, who did it? And I must say, this was very clever how it was done. It was basically, it turn, you know, they get all the jurors together and they have them all swab their mouths for DNA, for DNA testing. And it turns out if they're able to do this DNA testing because they have the killer's blood. And so they're, it turns out that none of the people that were, you know, tested were, were the P, were the, was the killer. And it turns out it was this army person. But then it turns out that, hey, she was a bone marrow donator, and I didn't know this before, and I'm just going to say it's true because I saw it on TV, unless someone wants to go down below and comment. Anyways, it turns out that they had a blood sample, but when you give blood, when you donate bone marrow to someone, they have your DNA running through their blood. But if you wipe it through your mouth, it doesn't, it shows up as your DNA and not their DNA. So they were able to catch the killer that way because they found out that he had gotten blood donated from bone marrow. 
So I thought that was clever. I was like, that was a good twist and turn. And, you know, this was something Watson picked up as a little clue. So, you know, it was it's great to see Watson and Holmes working together, working off each other. It's not always Holmes doing everything. Watson will chime in and help. And we get to see more about Watson's family. And it was like the mother, I mean, the first scene with the mother, I was like, she's a fucking bitch. She's like, oh, la, 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 you know, nice, trying to be nice and cheerful, but just being condescending. And then what I liked is at the dinner when Watson and Holmes go to dinner with her family and he starts his praises to her about her. But then, you know, Watson's like, thank you for saying everything. Thank you. I know you're going to blow me off. And then, then Holmes is like, you know, I just played to my audience. I didn't really mean any of that. And she's like, yeah, that's blowing me off. And what he sort of knows about Watson, Watson can read Holmes. Watson is there and is like, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're doing. And so she's a really good reader of him. So I'm sort of like, I just want to be true about, you know, Holmes respecting Watson. I think it is true, so I'm going to buy Watson's opinion on this matter. One of, I don't know if, it's not really a running gag per se, the little joke that's in the episode is the home says, you know, whatever, whatever, once you eliminate all the once you eliminate things, the remaining things, however implausible, is the truth. And I just screwed that line up so horribly. It's actually a... I just sort of fangirled over it because it is one of those really classic uh, home, Sherlock Holmes. And it's like, yeah. And so... <laughs> Sherlock says that, and then later in the episode, Watson throws back, throws it back in his face by going, whatever, who was it who said that once you eliminate things, the what's remaining is the truth? And Sherlock is pissed off and goes, he sounds like a douchebag. Yeah, I, I should have looked that line up because it is it is a classic one, but I don't want to spend, you know, minutes trying to go over that one line. But anyways, Elementary, The Leviathan, good episode. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this episode was the fact that we get to see more of Watson's life. You know, because we've known about her family, but... You know, get to see more of that, more of the interactions. I, I enjoyed that. And I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. If you want to contact me for whatever reason outside of my blog or YouTube, you can do so at facebook.com slash Jashikins fan page or on Twitter at Jashikins. If you are on the YouTubes, subscribe, like, comment below. Yay. <laughs> and after viewing this on my blog, thank you just for watching. If you want to support this blog financially, you can go at, over to the donate box and use the handy dandy donate button or go below and shop at my cafe press shop. And until next video, goodbye.